Wheezy F baby and the F is for... Here's a video about the rise and fall of Young Money. Young Money thieves, steal your love and leave. If you know Lil Wayne, you've no doubt heard his familiar rasping, Young Moolah baby. That would be the tagline for Young Money Entertainment, a music label slash supergroup thing founded by Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. in 2005. This entity brought us several famous faces that have left their mark on music, and the absurd lyrics of Young Money's hit Bedrock even inspired a video on this very channel. And Drake blessing us with the incredibly creative line, I love your sushi roll hotter than wasabi. But first, I want to thank today's sponsor, Universe. Helping boost DIY indie musicians is one of the main goals of this channel, and I seriously think that anyone that fits that description could really benefit from using Universe. In today's world, artists can't just be artists, especially when you're just starting out. And having your own website with all your links, your music, and so on could give you a big step up on the competition. Universe is the best, most user-friendly website builder that I've ever used, and I'm thrilled to work with them. You can start from scratch, use one of their many templates, or their AI tool Gus that is amazing. Editing your site on their app with the whole grid system that they use is smooth as can be. You can hyper-customize everything with stuff that you make on your own, or they have these very tasteful gradients. The fonts are great, and you can add cute little shapes that give a charming feel to everything. And if you want a bigger workspace, you can edit from your computer too. With Universe Pro, you can get your own .com domain without the Universe branding attached to it. You'll unlock custom menu styles and access to helpful analytics. Build a site with Universe by following this link or get 25% off your first year of Universe Pro using my my code alphomedia25. Both of these links will be in the description down below. Going back in time, Lil Wayne first started gaining traction under Birdman's famous Cash Money Records, which he joined at just 12 years old with heavy resistance from his mother. This is an insane fact that I'm just learning, but apparently Lil Wayne shot himself in the chest and almost died when his mom told him that he couldn't be a rapper. Spoiler alert, he would become a rapper. His first task was collaborating with the rapper BG, and soon the two formed the Hot Boys, along with members Juvenile and Turk, which had decent success before Wayne released his debut solo album in 1999. Lil Wayne hadn't quite blown up yet after a couple more projects dropped, but 2004's The Carter put his name on the map. Wheezy soon formed Young Money as a sister label to Cash Money Records, with a poor portion of the profits going to Birdman's label, and 2005's The Carter II is recognized as its first official release. YM started off by signing rappers Currency and Boo, who contributed to Young Money the mixtape Volume 1, though they both soon departed from the label. But all of this was a prelude to the Young Money that you all know and may or may not love. The fledgling label didn't really begin to stretch its wings until the addition of two very important players in 2009, Drake and Nicki Minaj. The thing that made Wheezy notice Drake is hilariously on brand for the Canadian. Every song I heard, there was nothing about harming anyone. There was nothing on the track about trying to sound hard. He could have literally rapped about eating cereal in the morning and going to the corner store, and he made it sound cooler than what I'm talking about. And that right there, it struck me. On Nikki, who he's long mentored, Wayne said, When I was starting this label, I already knew that I wanted somebody from New York. Plain and simple. But I never knew it would be a female. And when I seen her and she was spitting, she killed everything. It was hands down, she was a part of the team. Already know these lames is gonna hate me, but I'm lately it only motivate me. Young Money released its first compilation album, We Are Young Money, in 2009 with Alpha Media favorite Bedrock as its second single, which, fun fact, is technically Nicki Minaj's debut single. Here's another reminder of what goes on in that song. She don't even wonder, cause she knows she bad, and I got her. 
Grocery bag. Grocery bag. The first single, Every Girl, also known as Every Girl in the World, rightfully leans into Lil Wayne's talents with him carrying most of the song. Wikipedia describes this track as dirty rap, which is an objectively funny term, but it makes sense once you hear five seconds of this thing. Within the opening couple of lines, Wayne is talking about how he's gonna filet mignon that p which is crazy, and then there's the section comparing his reproductive organ to dope, and how he's gonna dope you, and you're gonna be a dope fiend, and your friends are gonna be calling you dopey. What's so funny about this song, where the chorus is, cause we like her, and we like her too, and we like her, and we like her too, and we like her, and we like her too, and then the incredibly noble declaration, I wish I could f every girl in the world, Lil Wayne's verse ends with, and I don't think you're beautiful, I think you're beyond it. There's so much to say about that line, how suddenly we're being romantic after using filet mignon as a verb and calling you dopey for that dope you know what. It's hilarious that I saw this line hundreds of times as a Facebook status when I was in middle school, and this sweet sentiment is stuck between some of the most vulgar things I've ever heard. Immediately after saying, and I don't think you're beautiful, I think you're beyond it, we go right back to, and I just want to get behind it, and then some goofy vocal effects on, and watch you back it up and dump it, but back it up and dump it. The rest of the verses are less interesting, though we do get the following. Drake raps, Are any of y'all into girls like I am, so let's be honest? Which seems to be an early workshopping of his famous Say That You a Lesbian, Girl Me Too. 12 years and billions of streams later, uh, Jay Mills is here. Gutta Gutta says something about Hillary Clinton with Rodham being a pun for Ride Him. I guess they really do mean every girl in the world. And we close with the esteemed gentleman Mac Main saying things that have left my jaw on the floor. After simply naming some women with this dated autotune on his voice, Mac says, In about three years, holla at me, Miley Cyrus. She was 16 at the time that this song came out. There's something about breaking off a little person's butt like a Kit Kat, and then the infamous, I exchange V cards with the... Yeah, it's truly wonderful thinking that Mac Main's version of the term etc for women is essentially minors, women 4 foot 10 or shorter, and those with developmental disabilities. We like her, and we like her too. Another standout from this project is Steady Mobbin with Gucci Mane, who makes for a perfectly complimentary addition to Lil Wayne. The two trade off rapping over another deliciously 2010s instrumental, piercing like lasers as Wayne delivers lines like, You people softer than Roseanne's son. Gucci Mane's chilled out Atlanta flow is a welcome transition between Wayne's signature crispy sound. And we've also got to mention Roger That, which has one of the most instantly recognizable beats of this time period. For me at least, this is probably the most underrated Young Money song, because people don't bring it up nearly as much as the other three from this album. Nicki comes across like a real superstar here, she opens it up perfectly, and then skipping over Kylie Jenner's ex, Lil Wayne gives an iconic, iconic verse with that beginning of Fresh off the jet, sharper than Gillette. I'm in the color green, six corn, bread in the guts. It's funny how from the very beginning, the most general basic perspective on Young Money was the truth. Lil Wayne had already cemented himself as a legend, he's fantastic, and the glue that held this thing together. Drake and Nicki had seemingly infinite potential right from the jump, they were clearly gonna be the next big things. And then, there's the rest of them. Anyone listening to the four singles could see that there were the great ones, and then the people that you knew that you were going to forget. Please comment down below if you were around for the rise of Young Money and your favorite member was Lil Twist, Lil Chucky, J Mills, Mac Main, or, and I'm reading these names off of an article right now and I still don't even believe that they're real, 
T-Streets and Short Dog? This was not a Wu-Tang situation. Or to give a later example of a similar concept, this was not even a good music situation. Young Money wasn't like the Dream Team, it was like the Big Three, plus a few random guys that came for a free lunch. Following a collab album with Cash Money that had no hits whatsoever, what is this album? How are there features from R. Kelly, Kendrick Lamar, and Limp Bizkit? Young Money's next compilation came in 2014 with Rise of an Empire. The most popular song from this record was Drake's Trophies, which is a quintessential Drake song from this era, with its big, booming, important sounding production being much more masterful than the rap verses over it, but it's solid. Just don't listen to what he's saying too closely, and you'll have a good time. Hey, hey, records on my demo. The first single from Rise of an Empire was actually We All Right, with the label's then newest signee, Euro, Wayne, and good old Birdman. It feels like they were really trying to push Euro into the spotlight on this track, and to be honest, it just doesn't work with the lackluster verses he brings to it. There's not even a funny line about filet mignon or something for me to show you. Everything is just kind of boring and anticlimactic. It's off-putting just how meh this song is when you have the two guys that started all of this trying desperately to make it work. I made it now when he tried to convince me to make it another the day. Glad I could see another Nicki Minaj's Lookin' Ass, which is somehow also featuring Nicki Minaj, is the only song besides Trophies that I would expect anyone to know, but from there, it's disappointing nothingness. There's a Tyga track called Senile that I listened to a few minutes ago, and it was in one ear and out the other. Let it be known that Chanel West Coast has a feature on this album. Yes, the girl with the laugh from Ridiculousness, and somehow even that is so forgettable that I can't even make fun of it. At debut, Rise of an Empire was at number 7 on the Billboard charts, but even with halfway decent sales, it just didn't connect. The album was received with mainly below average reviews, with Pitchfork chiding, If Rise of an Empire is meant to read like some kind of State of the Union address, it paints Young Money as a fractured team that's lost its compass. Minaj and Drake have fallen so far out of orbit of Young Money's pedestrian rings that their contributions almost feel like charity. And it's easy to see why after everything said and done. From this point on, we see tensions rise between Birdman and Wayne, eventually leading to a lawsuit and the unfortunate decay of a once close relationship, with Birdman serving as a father figure to Wayne from the time that he was eight. A few years later, Wayne took full control over the label and all of its masters, which he sold to Universal Music Group for $100 million. Young Money's impact, while strange and extremely hit or miss, is evident. This label helped birth some of the biggest musicians in the history of the world, while also putting a spotlight on people that I can't even remember, and I'm the one that's been researching them for a few days now. Not everything was a hit, but it's all a part of the journey anyway. Hey, thank you for watching that video. If you want to support the channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media at RenshawHS. You can support me on Patreon, Twitch, or buy my merch. Thank you again. I'll see you soon.